It's no secret that firefighters have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. There's a lot of special training that comes with the job, including being able to gear up fast. Our first guests are no strangers to the demands that come with the job. We have Ian Stark and Jared Nysis. They're both board members with the Sioux Falls Firefighters Association. And they're here to show us what goes into gearing up for an emergency and share an event this weekend that will test the endurance of community members, firefighters, and more this weekend. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks Hello. for having us. Thanks for having us. Okay, so I started already. This is called bunker gear. Yep. And I started already with the pants on because I have a skirt on. I didn't prepare very well. But we are going to, normally you're timed for this. Right. How long does it normally take you guys to get in all this gear? Usually we try to get it done within a minute, minute and 10 seconds. Yeah, that, that definitely is not going to happen for me. This is hard to get on. Okay, so first step is you put on the pants. You got the boots. Boots are in the pants already. Boots are in the pants. Yep. I almost tipped over trying to get them on. <laughs> and then we have the jacket. Now, this this is pretty heavy. Yeah. And this is fire resistant? Yep. Okay. And heat resistant. And heat resistant. Yep. Okay. Whew, I don't even know if I can zip it. And then we have the mask. Yep. This goes on first. So what does this help you do while you have this on, when you're on? Well, this obviously protects your face. Yep. Um, but it also hooks to your our SCBAs, our packs. They have a regulator that comes up and it goes into your uh, face piece here so you can breathe the fresh air. And then we have the helmet. And we have a helmet. That's backwards. Oh. Yep. Switch <laughs> around. There you go. Ta da. Perfect. That was pretty fast. Yeah. It's How about, long? Not bad. Two minutes. Two minutes? You still got to get your gloves on, though. Oh. And hooked up to air. Can't I do that as I'm walking? We didn't put your hood on because it's kind of. It's been used. Okay. You probably don't want to so wear. I probably don't want to wear that. Okay, I'm going to take this top part off so you can hear me a little bit. I feel like I'm echoing. <laughs> okay, so my first question then I'll ask you, Jared, is how do you move in this? Because I don't think I can run. Uh, it's it's a learned learned activity. Yeah. Uh, also, when we have that gear on, there's usually something going on. We're not really thinking about right. how we're moving. We're thinking about what we need to get done. So. Right. So let's talk now about the fifth annual Step Up for Heroes, yep. Ian. What does this include? Oh, well, it includes the, the main portion is the, memo the memorial uh, event for September 11, 2001, to remember all those firefighters and first responders that uh, passed away, gave their lives for that event. But it's also a stair climb, and uh, the proceeds from the event through registrations and sponsors goes to helping individuals in our community in our local area. Um, this year we also have a challenge course, so for those that uh, want to do more than just stair, climb stairs, there's a, a challenge course that's kind of a CrossFit-based um, obstacle course. And then there's also a junior firefighter course for the younger recruits for um, want to do, participate in firefighter activities. So. Okay, so Jared, tell me a little bit more about this option for the juniors. I mean, as far as firefighter activities, what will they get to do? Uh, basically, to do all the fun stuff, um, they'll get to run through, uh, run through a little course. It's usually with inflatables. Um, they'll be able to spray some water at a, a simulated fire, not a real fire, obviously. Um, but uh, they get to do all the, all the fun stuff that we get to do. Same things we usually do on, when they come in for tours and whatnot. Um, spraying water, hands seeing on all, stuff. The, all the hands-on stuff yep. and all the tools and, and whatnot. So. so how many flights of stairs are you guys going to be climbing for this event? It's 110 flights, but that's included um, going down as well. So it's, it's not as difficult as it sounds. Oh, wearing this, it would be. Yeah, that be it adds difficult. about 50 pounds, so yeah. yeah, that's a little bit difficult. But. So for the actual firefighters that are participating, are you guys going to be wearing your gear? Some are. Yep. Some wow. Will, some are going to bring their kids. Some will be carrying their kids to simulate that as well. Okay. It just depends on how they want to do it. So, so we, we have uh, some police officers that come, and they'll come in their, uh, their SWAT gear. Okay. I think we had one last year that wears gas mask as well. Oh, wow. So, yeah. There's... People like to make it harder than it can be, but right. it's, it's fun. It's fun to see everyone in their different uh, uniforms, different gear, and stuff like that. So let's talk a little bit more, too, about what this event does. I mean, where do the proceeds go? Yeah, so it goes into basically the step-up funds, that, um, and we look for or have people that we look for people in our community that are in need of help. Um, so for examples that we've done in the past, we found, um, came across some, a family with kids that were sleeping on the floors because they didn't have beds. So we were able to team up with um, a company here in town and purchase some beds for that family, including sheets, blankets, stuff like that. We've had, um, we've come across people that had a house fire right before Christmas and all the kids' presents were ruined. So that same day, we were able to go get them new presents, put them underneath the tree, and have, you know, kind of keep some of that 
normalness to their lives after an event. Um, just anyone that we, we're looking for that is um, basically one thing away from being in a different situation, going to the worst. Kind of, we always use the term going down the drain. We're looking for that person that's kind of actively going down that drain, and they just need one thing to help boost them out of it. And that's where our goal is to give them that one thing to kind of boost them to get back to their normal lives. So. Yeah, what a great thing for our community. Yeah. So, Jared, what makes this a great family event? Well, everybody gets to do it. I mean, you're, when we go to work for 24 hours at a time, or we just say we'll see you in the morning and we're gone, and they don't know exactly what, what it all entails. And this gives them an opportunity to not only participate but see what we do. Um, and even for the kids, you know, the, the junior firefighter course to spray some water and, and do some of the fun stuff as well. Um, we obviously don't want to expose them to everything that we do and see, but uh, uh, all the fun stuff, they get to be a part of that. So. so how has the event grown? This is the fifth year, but in comparing to past years, how has it grown? Uh, it just takes word of mouth. I mean, the more people that go to it, they tell their friends, oh, my God, it was amazing, and you need to do this next year, and just, just getting the word out and, and getting people that, yeah. that are able to make it come out. And they are, I've never heard anyone say that, man, that was a waste of time, or I wish right. I wouldn't have done that type thing. So. What a great cause. Well, let's go over the details now so anyone that wants to get involved and participate yep. can attend this event. So it's on Saturday, September 21st at Howard Wood Field. Um, and they're going to be climbing 110 flights of stairs. And then there's also a challenge course. We have the um, website right there, SiouxFallsFirefighters.com, to register and get signed up. So thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming in yeah, today and telling us all about And you guys are coming, I assume? Well, I need to now, right? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. you can wear Jared's. Outfit. I don't know if I would manage even getting up yeah. two flights, but yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.